Hello Leo, this is Leonard with Lingonberry Tea Tarot and I'm doing your reading for the month of uh, December for the second half, so the 15th to the 31st. Um, it looks like you are doing some transformation um, with yourself in preparation of a potential soulmate to come in. So you're embracing your emotions, you're receiving love and appreciation, and act as if your partner is here in order to um, have your soulmate here. And go outside a little bit. Go outside your comfort zone. As long as you have pure, pure intention and motivation and you are healing yourself within um, and trusting the talent, your talents and changing times and also using your intuition, you should be fine. And Toad also talks about a lot of transformation along with Skull. And Spider is a lot, talks about manifestation and building a web and if there's anything that knocks it down, then the spider can reweave it to however they want to fit their needs. And Pipple is going within and just having that space to meditate. Um, and Horse Chestnut is talking about transforma transforma transformative um, change along with Hazel. But with horse chestnut, it's talking about taking things and looking at it um, deeply and seeing whether or not if it's something that you want in your life. So that is your oracles for the second half of December. There may be something with adult children if... Um, with your potential soulmate, or you may have adult children yourself and there may be things coming up with them that you may need to deal with. And that's bringing about this change. So I've already pre-shuffled the deck. I'm using the Crystal Tarot and let's go ahead and see what pulls out for you. You're feeling a little bit left out in the cold for some reason, but somebody is coming in to assist you either financially or um just emotionally with the queen of pentacles and it's opening up your heart in order to potentially receive love with the queen of wands especially with your soulmate coming in you have your guard up because you don't know what you want to do next especially leaving, being felt left out in the cold, but you're getting your Ten of Cups. And death is bringing about something new into your life. Something that is very joyous, very pleasurable to you, um, because we have the sun in opposition. Potentially somebody from the past with the Six of Cups. Somebody who wants a higher level of commitment. And it's somebody that you are making a choice on. This might be somebody younger um, with the Page of Pentacles. And it is your soulmate with the Lover's card and the soulmate card right there. And the moon is illuminating things that may be hindering this relationship, such as... Um, a past breakup that may be on your mind at the moment. So you're going to go into hermit mode in order to heal yourself. And we have the Queen of Cups, so you may be looking at this relationship even further. So I'm going to use the Universal Celtic Tarot to see if we can clarify some of these cards. So why is the Queen of Pentacles here? So it's going to be a new beginning, 
that she's going to assist you with to help you emotionally to get out of holding on to your feelings, to open you up to something brand new. So why is the Queen of Wands here? You're opening up and you're feeling more, um, more loving and having a different perspective on life with the hangman. So why is the seven of wands here? Why is Leo's guard up? You're scared of having, that this may be too good to be true with the Six of Wands. Um, because how can this happen to you when um, you just recently just got the cold shoulder from somebody? So why is the Ten of Cups here? Okay. The world is bringing this person around into your life, so to bring you a new opportunity in love with the Queen of Cups. And they see you financially successful with the Nine of Pentacles. So why is death here? Tell us about death. Okay. Death is bringing about this person who may be a page of Pentacles um, with the Ace of Cups in love who I said earlier may be from your past with the Six of Cups. And they may want to take this to the next level with the Four of Wands here twice as well. And they, this person is very much passionate and in love with you with the King of Wands. So why is the Sun here? Whoever this person is, they want to build a new foundation with you with the Three of Pentacles. And, and I think that's why you have your guard up a little bit. You're not used to this type of beginning with the relationship. Although you are a fire sign yourself, <laughs> which is odd. <laughs> um, so why is the Six of Cups here? Yeah, this is, is a person that you've been waiting on who is coming in to end your burdens. Um, but you're still feeling s stuck for some reason. So why is the Four of Wands here? Because the wheel is bringing them around for a new opportunity for you. Um, something that you do deserve, that you do um, yeah, you do deserve it. You went through a lot. You've but now comes this change of progress in your life. So why is the Two of Swords here? Oh, wow. Celebration and a Knight of Pentacles. Mm. So 
Do you keep it light? Mm. A light affair, or do you actually take the full plunge and really start dating? So you're going to have strength to go through with it. You're going to overcome some <clears throat> um, devil moments here. Because the moon is eliminating those particular uh, traits that they may have. But it's not something that you haven't dealt with in the past. Um, because you have contemplated a upon it and won certain battles in your life. And they view you as the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So let's see if we can get any advice on your reading, Leo. Any advice for Leo from December 15th to the 31st? Okay. Okay. Again, the lovers is on the bottom. Mm, Wheel of Fortune is bringing them around because they view you as their empress. Um, they are coming in as a page wanting a higher level of commitment with you. You're going to be making a decision. The world is going to force it. And again, this is your potential soulmate. And the Seven of Swords is that they are watching you from afar, from a distance, possibly on social media, um, possibly through other means of just talking with people. And they are going to speak their truth. They're going to cut out all the bullshit and offer you something um, meaningful, passionate with the Page of Wands, and they view you as their Queen of Wands, and there's going to be a lot of communication. Okay, Leo, that is your reading for December 15th to the 31st, and if you like it, um, like, comment, share, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you again next time. Laters.